Oh, Wes Wednesday, I just knew in the back of my mind that I was keeping you around for one final send-off. And it is one final send-off, folks. Thank you, my mind friend. But with your end comes a new beginning. And you know, I've kind of been sitting here for a while, thinking if I should change anything. And I don't think I will. We just had an insane series go on for ages that had crap going on all the time. So I think this time around, all I'm going to do is just do something I never like to do. Branches never, loops always. And that's going to be the same for the forest and the caves. Of course, huge, always like the huge worlds. But I think the challenge, everyone, is going to come in a different form this time around. As yes, everyone, if for some reason you haven't figured it out, we have some silky new beginnings. Weber Wednesday begins. But about that challenge I mentioned, where is it actually going to come from? Well, friends, I'm thinking that every single darn big bad in this game has got to go down to Arachnid Fury. Yes, yes, yes. In short, we're going to be using spiders to kill every single boss in this game. And my gosh, I'm already thinking ahead to the Celestial Champion, and I'm not liking the thoughts. But my goodness, welcome back to another series, by the way, and it is Weber's Day, so I thought I would dress the occasion as well. It's night one, everyone, and as we know, night one of Don't Starve. Get yourself a torch and keep your butt moving. You gotta be nomadic. You gotta find out what your world is offering, especially in a loop world. Oh, I'm not gonna like this loop world, am I? Ooh, looky looky, everybody. Lots of hives. Interesting. Okay. As we know, a lot of our crafts cost some honey, especially these things. Hmm, keep this in mind, that's for sure. Hmm, early game sinkhole, you say? I could pop down here, folks, and maybe, maybe find some nearby stalagmites. I mean, it depends if we get ourselves a red mush tree forest. That could be some early gold with, uh, with a loop world. Who knows where the heck our mosaic is or where if we even have a rocky lands, you know what I mean? So yeah, this, this might be a good call. Let's give it a look. Oh, wasn't that great of a call. <laughs> Hello, things that are going to munch me to death. Okay, yeah. Um, not the greatest entry. All right, I think I am going to abandon this plan immediately. Oh, I do like a brick road as it has just led me to you, of course, but also we see that up there. Now, everybody, yeah, I'm using this mod called Insight. It's like show me, but better. Show me uh, kind of crap the bed <laughs> a little while ago, making games lag. So now we're using this new information mod, which is absolutely fantastic, by the way. The problem is it does do these little indicator things where kind of just tells you where things are, which isn't great. But you know what? Hello, Chester. Hello. And by the way, I didn't mean to sound nonchalant there. I, maybe I did subconsciously, if you know what I mean. But I freaking found Chester day two. That's freaking awesome. Okay. Good start, everyone. Good start. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen an angel ring of mushrooms, everybody. And it's blue mushrooms at that. That's really cool. But we found a forest. That's great for a lot of reasons. Forests can have gold veins, potentially. But I'm going to be looking for spiders, of course. Actually, hmm. <gasps> Mosaic. Even flipping better because of that right there. I was just about to say, you know what? It would be better to find gold first. Because watch this, everybody. Watch how bloody... It oh, wait. I already got one. Watch how stupid things can get early game with Weber here. Let's pick up this gold. Let's pick up this gold. Let's get the science machine down. Boom, bada, bang. Let's get ourselves a razor. And then, of course, we know the drill. Backpack. And then a shovel. You know what? I'll probably make another pitchfork as well. But watch this. Now that we got a razor, everybody, just watch how stupid things get. That is, after I find some spider dens, of course. For now, though, now that we're in the mosaic, I might as well snatch up all the bloody gold I can. Oh, and would you look at this, everyone. It's actually a graveyard with set piece gold. Nice, nice, nice. And what I mean is, you don't always hit gold in a graveyard. And I'm sure you've seen it before. Good, good, good. Free gold is great. Also, my gosh, look at all these graves. I would maybe do some grave digging right now, but don't exactly got a weapon. Wow, but I'm not joking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow. Okay, then. 
I see you, game. I even more. Wow, wow. This is the biggest graveyard I've ever freaking seen, everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh, you gotta love a mosaic, everybody. Especially one as flippin' big as this one has turned out to be. But the problem is, the problem is, or at least the problem I kind of reminded myself of, is that this is a loop world. Meaning travel is gonna be very different. And I'm thinking to myself, am I just kind of wasting time mapping the edge here when I really should... A triple moon rock? Wow. Okay, I'll take it. Um, am I just wasting time here doing this mapping when I should just be grabbing and going, if you know what I mean? I mean, I already got 26 gold. Do I really need more gold right now? Hmm... I don't know. I'll tell you what though, we're gonna be bloody ready when we do actually find base, I can tell you that. I'm already working on 30 of each of the resources. I just saw that the sinkhole is here right next to our science machine. I have means of making an alchemy engine already. So what I think I'm gonna do is dip in down in the caves again. Hopefully this one's not as bad as the last one. Grab some light bulbs, get a lantern, and then get a move on. Yep, sounds good. Oh, this might actually be great. Oh. It's not off, oh my gosh, another one? <laughs> okay, not the best, but I still got some time before they wake up. But seeing that swamp down here in the caves is great, because a swamp equals spiders. Now that's not always the case, in the case of the caves, but we're gonna give it a look regardless. Oh, this actually worked out though. I need grass tough still, and I needed food. So it's gonna be like Weber stole Christmas. Oh, it's gonna be a light bulb swamp, everybody. Yeah, okay. Remember how I was just saying? It's not always... Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, here's our first spiders, everyone. Nice. A lot, actually. It's good. And they're coming out of the caves, which is gonna make my life even easier. All right. Um, hmm. You know what? I'll just go ahead and do this. But remember how I said a razor makes things stupid? Yeah, it does. It does. They didn't fix this. They didn't fix this? I was gonna say, hold up. They didn't fix it, even though they absolutely said they fixed it last night. Yeah, there's a little cheap thing you can do, <laughs> everybody. You don't, Normally, you're only supposed to get one per shave, and then, of course, when the den dies, you get two. They had a little glitch where you could obviously get more. And, uh, well, they said they fixed it last night. They didn't fix it last night. Okay, so normally three dents should only give you nine silk. I just got 15 silk immediately. That's why a razor early game as Weber is utterly ridiculous. All right, this is a good find, but I am in a dangerous position, everybody. I got to be really careful. No, no, no. I, I feel cheap doing that, so I don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Okay. But remember now, if... Uh, ooh. Oh, darn it. I really was hoping you would actually kill that. Um, remember now, though, everybody. Uh... Crap, I forgot my, what I was about to say. Oh yeah, if the spiders weren't out, oh! If the spiders weren't out of their nests, they'd be angry at you if you shaved. Um, so that's why sometimes I like to use uh, Weber's thingamadoogie, his uh, shoe box, really fast, just to keep going. Or you can just kill him, you know, for more spider loot. But holy moly, everybody, this was a good flipping call to come down here. Oh, I know what it was. The reason why it wasn't fixed is because they haven't actually pushed the next hotfix out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fixed a couple things. They fixed that shaving thing. I know that for a fact. They fixed the logging in and logging out. Um, that D loyals. It's not a word, but you know what I mean. D loyals your uh, dudes, your spiders. So that's going to be fixed. That's going to be a nice change, actually. And uh, some other stuff. So I told you that I've been kind of waiting for that hotfix to do some other fun stuff with Weber. Yeah, it should be coming soon, I think. Looking a little worse for wear here on the old sanity side of things. But let's uh, let's get situated, I think, everybody. Let's just make a bunch of stuff that we can. Man, I really was hoping I would have found a pig house already. I, with this silk that I just got, I would have been able to make a lot of really good stuff. All right, okay. Let's just uh, do the basics. Let's do the basics. Oh, you've got to love prototyping, everyone. Just a few crafts here and there. Back up the snuff, especially on Weber. As I kind of forgot that he only has 100. 100 sanity, by the way. Oh, that's going to be bad. Okay, I do need some more of you. Fine, fine, fine. Inventory's looking bad. Um, that's why I would really, really appreciate... Finding a pig hut 
right now. Hello, beefaloes. All right, folks, good find, good find. I don't need their crap because I'm kind of making my own crap with those flower petals. And of course, I got these light bulbs. How big is this savannah going to be? Oh, oh, like I said, the navigation, the navigation aspect of all of this is going to be bad. All right, you know what? This gives me a good opportunity, though, to show you what I meant earlier. When you shave these, these spiders are not happy. Even if you're Weber, by the way. Even if you're Weber. So, make note of that. But, there's some more silk. Oh, it's just so utterly ridiculous. Oh, of course, if you don't want any trouble, you can always just get them out with the Webby whistle and then do the shaving. But, you know, whatever. This is, uh, this has durability. The razor doesn't, if you know what I mean. Oh, why, hello there, Maxwell. Is Weber's examination still the same about he tricked us? We're still mad at them, but only a little. They did change it. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so great. It used to be that that guy tricked us, but now it's just he, we're a little mad at them, but not much anymore because they've interacted with them for so long. That's so great. I love it. I love it. And by the way, remember that's there because that's bloody marble and that's going to be some good turf for base. And I've been thinking about base. I'm not sure if we're even going to get to uh, building base or even have an idea of where to base in this first part here because yeah navigation running it's gonna take a while and we're playing as weber so you know what i mean i would like to base near my brethren i haven't really played weber all that much so i would like to really get into his mechanics but holy moly the rain's here right on cue and speaking of brethren hello hello so i don't actually need to do like anything with you right now <laughs> which is really really weird Okay, um, because I got that swamp down below, of course. What? I'm going to have plenty of nightmare fuel. For right now, this is the priority for sure. Okay, yeah, because if I get these, uh, uh, this pick stuff, be mad at me. Thank you. If I get this pick stuff, I can get a better storage right away. Ow! He ran towards me, which doesn't help. Okay, go there for the swing. I missed. Oh, my gosh. You like this lovely fight, everybody? All right, so down he... Really? 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 Thank you. Okay. So he's dead now. I get this. I don't care about the rest of it at all, honestly. Yeah, spider, go ahead and eat that. That's fine. All right. So do I only need two? Hold up. Let me look. Nope. It's four. Okay. So we need one more house. And that should be fine because we're in a bloody forest, everyone. Should not be hard to find another pig house. Let's get four of this pig skin. Then maybe, you know what? I'll drop down our pre-crafted alchemy. I'll get a lantern. I'll get a piggyback. We'll be off to the races. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, and the guy threw an extra in just for us, folks. Beautiful. All right. And I'm also going to be clearing some inventory space with this, too. Gaining inventory and clearing it sounds bloody good to me. All right. So I definitely did not have to spend that much time in the bloody mosaic, everybody. Because look what I found. A ginormous, absolutely ginormous looking uh, Rocky Land. <gasps> I see a tall bird fortress. Ooh. Hello, my favorite set piece. But actually, more importantly right now, I found this too. More marble, and then of course, this dude. Nice, nice. Let's just go ahead and drop this, get my speed boost on. All right, gears, gears, everybody. Early gears. We'll, oh, we'll take it. Man, my kiting today, not great. And you know what? I think this is going to be a good exchange. Drop two cut stone that I'm not really using right now and replace it with a crap ton of marble. Yup, let's do it. Unless the game breaks, let's do it. Oh, and by the way, if you saw the pan flute in my inventory and wondering where the heck did I get that from? Yeah, yeah, connected to the uh, Rocky Lands here is actually the Deciduous Forest with the Fat Man himself. So that's good, that's good. Nothing special, lots of pigs though, and a really skinny uh, pig king area, which is really weird to see, but my god. Goodness gracious, lots of gold. Status reports, Swamp was the only way to progress, and I found another flippin' Talbert Fortress that's literally one biome away from the other. <laughs> Come on, game, why'd you give me two? Also, that Mac Tusk Camp means that we got a triple Mac set piece. Great. I was looking a little worse for wear on the old Hunger and Sanity. Got myself some cacti in the Dragonfly Desert. Took a knackering for it, because, yeah, I kind of forgot that... You get hit for one, and you only heal for one with Cactus. So, whoopsie-daisy on that one. But, uh, yeah, I'm starting to think, everybody, that today... Today might just have us running the entire world. <laughs> Not the most exciting 
the first entry to a new series. But if we complete the loop, hey, that's kind of fun. Oh, this could actually be kind of good, everybody. Because if I ever wanted to get a Spider Queen fast, I could kill myself and use that touchstone. Hmm. <laughs> okay, and speaking of some spiders, bird trap. Okay, I don't really need it, but I guess I'll take it. Would you look at this, everyone? This is not only a natural Mac Tusk forest, it is also the Moonstone forest. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That's really cool, actually. Oh no, this isn't cool, though. Oh, don't tell me my progress. It has to be. Am I about to finish this loop? Am I really about to finish this loop? I might actually finish this loop right now, everybody. Oh my gosh, and I haven't even found, like, the place I want to base yet. Um, okay, okay, interesting. But it looks like to finish the loop, I gotta go through this, and I am not happy about it. I don't have the speed for this. Um, hmm. I'm gonna leave Chester behind, and I'm gonna leave my backpack behind. All right, cool. Let's go finish this loop. What the frick is going on here? <laughs> okay, well, I guess I could get the killer bees to fight the guardian pigs. I honestly can't say if I've ever seen that before. Okay, never mind. This loop has definitely got more to it. Ah, the oasis. An oasis base in a playthrough. Hmm. You know, if we don't end up basing somewhere this first episode, I could just wait for you guys to give me a suggestion. An Oasis base playthrough. How do you guys feel about that? Wow! Look at that, everybody. That's the flippin' edge of the world right there. You can bloody see it from the coast. Interesting. But this is the... We did it. I am honestly... Kind of shocked by that. I did a lot of mapping early on, and then later on, I kind of just said screw it until I got here, of course. And then I kind of just do it edges. But yeah, in 10 days, about 11 days, we mapped an entire huge looped world. All right, then. Interesting. But yeah, to see the edge of the world from the coast, that's kind of funny. And there's definitely a boat bridge in the future, folks, to connect our branches. Okay, okay. That will be helpful. Okay, that's where our beefaloes are. Right, right, right. We got this, we got that. You know what? This forest. Might be a lot of spiders in there. I would like to ca uh, camp with a lot of spiders. There's a lot of spiders here, too. There's also a lot of pigs. Hmm. You know what? We're probably going to be... Ah, oh, crap. We're only going to have 10 days left, though. <laughs> 10 days until winter. Haven't even started building yet. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Do I wait for you guys to give me a suggestion? Or do I try to see what's in this forest? Then again, a forest base? Ugh. You're going to have to clear a lot of stuff, though. Just because you want to be next to spiders. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't want to open this, just in case you guys say Oasis base. So let's leave that plugged. Let's just go get our guys back. Let's get our guys back. And then, well, I don't know. Got to think about wrapping up soon, I think. You know, as I run by our second Tallbird Fortress, I could make things a little more interesting. I could say that all medium to big bads have to die from spiders. You know, instead of just big bads, throw a little wrench into my plans and all that stuff. Hmm, not a bad idea. All right, good start, good start. Lots of spiders, not a whole heck of a lot of pigs. I can work with that. Man, a lot of spiders. Like, bloody connected in a row, too. Oh, and there's even closer beefalo, and then there's more spiders up here. Okay, I don't have to camp. Ooh. Also, with finding this little savanna, I don't necessarily have to camp in the forest. I could just camp in the frickin' middle of it. Ooh, okay. I'm starting to like this a little more. Oh, no way. Oh, no frickin' way. Yes. Yes, way. Okay, everybody. Say hello to the Queen's Gathering set piece. Oh, you've got to freaking love it. You've got to love it. Thank you. Thank you, game, for gifting this to us. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, yeah, they're all about to become queens, pretty much. <laughs> Which kind of defeats what I want to do with them. And there's no way I'm going to have any den decorating sets quite yet. I could. I just don't think I'm going to get here back in time before that happens. Mm, darn, 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 darn. But, but with that, yeah, this has got to be it. Here? 
base here. I mean, I'm near tall birds. I'm near the swamp. I'm near beefalo. I'm near spiders. Okay. All right. This might be the start of something, everyone. Wide open space, too, to have some fun with things. Unfortunately, yeah, I will be having to worry about uh, summertime again. So if you guys want me to worry about summertime, then yeah, sure. Let's roll with somewhere over here. If you want easy street, we also got the uh, Oasis. But then again, I could make a mega base there if you guys wanted to see a mega base be built over time. I don't know. But I do know this. After completing the loop, after having a great start, great starts, maybe not great start on the old spiders, but I think we're going to be ready to build base pretty much immediately when we return next week. Yeah, okay, I think this is where we call it quits. Loop completed. Potential spots, the base, known. A queen's gathering for Pete's sake. Oh, what a start to Weber Wednesday, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you for the many, many parts to come. The bosses will face our arachnid fury. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.